Full Rivalry fans, I'm Harrison. I'm Greg Hay. And this week we're going to talk to you about whether or not the Memphis vs. UCF game is actually a rivalry game or not. So, what you got for us? Um, I don't feel like it's a rivalry game because they haven't really met. They only met 12 times. But I feel like if uh, Memphis can pull up the F upset on the 10th rank uh, UCF, I feel like it will spark a rivalry between them. Because yeah. like every meeting they've had has been with the atmosphere of Mariah. Yeah, uh, especially last year, the stakes were really big in the first couple games, or both games they played last year, right. especially that conference championship game down in Orlando. And they both were ranked at the time. Yeah, it's a big time game. Uh, but I feel like I also agree that it's not a robbery right now. Uh, UCF has actually won the last 11 games in this series, dating back to 2005. Memphis hasn't won since 1990 which they weren't even in the conference together back then. So it'd be pretty hard to call this a rivalry because Memphis hasn't won in a long time. Uh, yeah, and it's also different because, I mean, Memphis fans kind of see it like that right now because we weren't able, we hadn't beaten UCF in so long. But I don't think UCF fans see that at all. They really think their big rivalry is uh, UCF SF down there in South Florida. So I think it's really hard to consider this a rivalry right now. A big game, but not quite a rivalry yet. I think it has the potential to be since they are still in the same conference. But I feel the same way. Yeah. So you think they're gonna pull the upset this week? Memphis is. I think Memphis will pull the upset if their defense can come out and get some stops and the offense can get it rolling early in the game. Yeah. And set the run game. Yeah. I think that's the key. The defense has to come out and really stop UCF because their offense has been light people up this year. And the Memphis defense the last couple weeks, they gave up a ton of points to Tulane in that bad loss down in New Orleans. Yeah, so they really need to pick their game up. And the offense has to get out to a quick start. They've had they had trouble doing that a few weeks ago. They got back on track this last week against UConn for homecoming. But they got to get out to an early start and put UCF behind early, I think, to have a chance to hold on to this game. So would you like to talk about the key players for each team that you would like to pick? Yeah, uh, be to the game. definitely. Brady White for Memphis, the quarterback, has to play well. Uh, the only time they've won games this year is when he has. They've lost the two times that he played poorly. So I think on offense, he's the biggest key. What about you? For me, it will be Daryl Henderson, of course, because that's who we get most of our points in and get yep. the offense going for us. Yep. And then tend to lean on when uh, Brady White isn't having a great passing game. Mm -hmm. I also think will be key in this game is our defensive backs. Yeah. Because uh, UCF has an old Miss transfer named Trey Nixon. He's mm -hmm. pretty decent. Yeah, he is. And they have one other wide receiver that has close to 400 receiving yards also. Yeah. So I think it'll rely on our defensive backs and our running game on yeah. the offense. Defensive front has to get pressure to help the, deep, the, the secondary out back there to have a chance. I think if the defense can get in, Mike, uh, the quarterback for UCF. Mike, uh, I think McKin it'll, uh, McKenzie Milton. Mike, McKenzie yeah. Milton. I think it will rattle him a little bit because yeah. he hasn't been under pressure like that yeah. at all this season. He's been yeah. having time to stay in the pocket and like look through his progression. Yeah, definitely. But also you have to maintain Adrian Killen because he's a dual threat like Alvin Kamara. He mm -hmm. can catch out of the backfield. He can run. Yeah, he has like over 200 receiving yards out of the backfield, mm -hmm. and he has like 400 rushing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I hope y'all all tune in this week. Uh, games happening on Saturday, 2:30, right? 2:30 Central time. Yeah, on ABC. Uh, y'all should definitely.